what's up guys how's it going it's Matt so I'm gonna do a new series for you guys so I'm gonna yeah, start this uh, today this will be part one of the series this is going to be uh, home defense it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna be calling it the uh, tips and tactics how's that sound guys so I'll be giving you uh, some tips and tactics of home defense so uh, here it is <laughs> basically taking my military uh, background and training and I'm applying that to real world uh, defense situations and scenarios that you should probably think about and giving you a few tools and tips and I, I actually started the series a while ago on Facebook but I did it through live videos so I, I can't actually pull those videos up and uh, bring them to you so what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna actually going to uh, do this as a uh, straight up YouTube series so first I want to talk about what got me started and really about uh, four or five months ago, I'm not sure exactly when it happened. And I'm a full time dad all the time. I stay home with my kids, you know, my son all the time, my uh, eight mo 18 month old, and then my other two kids are at school all day. So I'm just home, and it was around nap time. I take my son upstairs, and my doors are all locked, and it's just part of my head. I always lock the doors and all that other stuff. And then uh, my dog kind of starts going crazy. This is probably about a half hour into uh, his nap, he had just fallen asleep. And my dog just starts barking and going crazy, and I was trying to figure out what was going on because she barks, but I've never heard her bark like that. She was like, like freaked out. Well, I've heard her bark like that when bears are around, but that's about it. So first thing that actually came to mind, like, right, are the bears back? No, but what happened is I started hearing a banging downstairs in my mudroom. I guess you call it the mudroom. It's a, I call it the kids' playroom. We have all the kids' toys out there. We have windows all in there. It has a... Uh, door on it but it doesn't have like a bolt lock door it's just a uh you know metal frame door with a glass window you know a little thin aluminum door or whatever so i come downstairs to see what the heck's going on and as i walk downstairs i can see i can look in there and the guy breaks open literally pops open my uh, inside screen door and starts goes walks into my kids playroom i mean this playroom is it's got bookshelves it's got kids toys so you can tell this is habited you know you can tell it's a habited house and then he walks to the door and he starts kicking the door. I mean, he's down there kicking it as hard as he can. Then he starts banging it and looking around and kicks it and bangs it. And this all happens. And I'm just sitting there looking at the top of the stairs like, what the hell is going on? And then he starts kicking harder and harder. Then I go downstairs. I'm holding my son, you know. I go downstairs and I take a look. And he looked at me like, oh, well, the look in his face is like, oh, someone's here, you know. And there's this Hispanic guy. And he didn't speak. I don't, even, I don't know if he spoke in English or if he's just pretending he didn't. But I basically told him, like, or I said, what are you doing? I use bad words, but I'm not going to do that because YouTube is censoring everything now. So I used some bad words saying, what the, are you doing in my house? And he says, oh, 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 and I'm like, what the, are you doing in my house? And I just like shouted it through the door and he just kept going and he kept going like, oh, like he didn't understand. I'm like, you are in my house. You need to get out of my house. Then he got this look on his face that was really aggressive and almost kind of scary. You know, I'm a Marine, guys, and I see this, and I, I, I was taught how to look at body language. I had my uh, M&P on me at the time, M&P 40. My uh, SIG was actually, uh, you know, recovering. It was, that paint was carrying. I just did a paint job on it. And I did what I had to do, guys. You could tell with the look on his face that he was about to do something, and he started kicking the doors. He started getting more aggressive. So... Pulled up a shirt, I grabbed it, like I said, don't mind me, I'm holding my son, grabbed it, bring it up to here, like I taught you guys in the video, and I start pushing it forward, and you could just see, he just, like, oh, like, holy crap, you know, and you could tell, it's like, okay, you know, not an easy threat anymore, and you could just see his body temperament change, you know, mind you, I'm pointing my 40 caliber at his face, and he was freaking out, I mean, not quite freaking out, but you could tell he was, like, in a panic mode, like, got oh, crap what did i just get myself into it's like oh, oh uh, i'm just here for the sign the sign i was calling the number on the sign and go, go i gotta go have a good day and he walked out now i didn't i didn't call the cops on this mind you which i probably should have done because this guy's description was very complicated i mean i don't even know how to describe the guy i mean he was 
a middle-aged Hispanic male. You know, he had a hood on, and I'm just like, you know, in my area of the town, there's a, a good amount of people that are like that. So I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do with this guy? But here's the thing, guys. He had no car. There was no car on either side. You know, and I live on a main road. We have a parking spot over there, and then, but we actually park in a park next to us because we're allowed to. And there was no cars. He had no one around him, no car waiting on the side of the road, no cars on the side. And this guy was at our house saying that he was just coming in because of the sign. Now, the sign that was out there, at first, is a couple of days prior to that. I actually helped my neighbor. It's a duplex. Bring her couch out so uh, someone will come and pick it up. And we put it out on the curb. And right after that, our landlord decided to put a sign out on our front porch, out in the front that had a for rent sign on it, but it had a phone number on it, but it wasn't for our house, it was for a different house, but we, we live on a main road, so he figured, why not, you know, I'll get more people to look at it here. And he doesn't do a very good job of taking care of our house and our entire front of the house. I mean, the paint job is just horrendous. I mean, it's just chipping and painting and falling away. The house is from the 1800s. So... You put all those factors together, which I didn't pick up on in the first place, which I was actually angry at myself for not picking it up on. And it literally looks with a couch out there and a rattly, rattly paint and all that other stuff. It literally looks like someone had rushed out of the house in a heart, like moved out of the house in a heartbeat. Now, I don't know what type of guy this was, guys. Um, there's different types of criminals out there. Um, I'll do, I'll, add, I'll talk about it a little bit more on my, uh, in my later videos, but there's different types of criminals out there. I mean, he could have been a scout for a professional team. He could have been a scout for a home invasion team. He could have just been, I saw a target of opportunity and go, and I'll, like I said, I'll get all, into all that in the uh, later videos. But what happened is it came down to, I was in my house, a home alone with my 18 month old son. And a guy was trying to break in my house and he started getting violent and aggressive, watching his body where the way I was kicking on the door and his body movements and the looks on his face, it actually looked bad like he was really seriously about thinking about doing something but the second my pistol came from the holster i always carry he realized okay this is not an easy target i need to get the hell out of here and he basically went to what you call it mental shock or whatever when he realized what was going on but anyway so this happened to me like i said it was like four or five months ago i don't remember exactly when it was within that time frame and because of it it led me to do the home defense series all right so, but like I said, I did it all on Facebook Live, so I don't have the videos for you, so I'm just transferring it here. Anyway, I just want to talk a little bit about what I'm going to be covering in this actual series. So I just wanted to give you the introduction to it. So I'm going to be basically giving you, you know, affordable tips or tips for affordable firearms and gear and tools, what you would need for a, if any type of, whether it's a home invasion or a daytime intruder or whatever it is. I'm going to give you some ideas of what you can get into. I'm also going to talk to you guys about uh, the ways to be ready from a military standpoint, which is like when you're deployed, you have your stuff ready to go and you know you grab it in a second's notice and be ready ready for the fight. I'm going to teach you guys a few tips on that, so how you can do this, stuff like that. And I'm going to discuss basically uh, a little bit of tactics when it comes to how can you can actually defend your home using like choke points and stuff like that. You know, and then I'm just going to go into the basic stuff like that. Like I said, guys, it's mainly going to be tools and tactics. You know, this is for basic people. I'm also going to do do's and don'ts. Like, you don't clear your house by yourself. You know, one, you're not a trained professional that's had training. And if you have, you know, trained professionals in a Marine, you don't clear a building without a team. All right. You know, with a team of four to four people for a fire team. But more than likely, you're going to be doing a squad size, which is 12 people. Right. So you don't want to do it by yourself, especially if you don't have much training. But I'm going to basically give you some tools and tips and a few tactics that will actually help you guys stay alive in any type of home situation, whether it's a home invasion, an intruder, how to just defend your family while you're waiting for the police to arrive. I'm also going to teach you guys about the importance of having a plan, like a set plan. You know, like fire drills. If you have fire drills in your house, you have children in the house. You know, it's really great. You do fire drills. I do fire drills with my children. You know, I'll teach you about the different drills that you can do to get your kids involved into it, too. All right, because practice makes perfect, guys. You're right, you practice, <laughs> that's what it, practice makes perfect. You know, they teach us that in the Marine Corps all the time. So I'm going to be talking about that type of things. All right, guys, so this is only part one of the series that's going to be coming up. Like I said, by the end of the week, I'm hoping to get all the videos out. I don't know if it's going to be three or four. I'm not sure yet how it's going to go, but I have a plan for what's going to be going on. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me, please. All right? Remember, guys, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.